I've had that labyrinth now for um, eight years, maybe, and um, became interested in them um, through one that they have at East Liberty Presbyterian Church in the city. Um, but have a real interest in um, labyrinths in general. They're really an ancient form of prayer. They uh, were used before Christ um, and differ from, um, from a, a maze in that mazes uh, kind of trap you and have dead ends. And labyrinths, if you start on the path, will always get you through uh, to the center. And in that regard, they make an excellent metaphor for the life of faith, life of prayer. They um, became used as a Christian metaphor primarily in the uh, time of the Crusades in Europe. Um, Christians had pilgrimage, had done pilgrimage to uh, the Holy Land and had gone on pilgrimage to the Holy Land until the time of the Crusades, and at that point it became very dangerous, of course, uh, to travel and to be there. And so um, at that point, we believe, and there's not a lot of really firm history on it, but we believe that they built them into the floors of the cathedrals. We know. So uh, Chartres Cathedral in uh, France is probably the most famous current labyrinth, um, but there were a number of the labyrinths that were made in, the, um, uh, in that Gothic period. And what would happen is that then um, the faithful would travel to one of the uh, cathedrals as a, as a pilgrimage, and then they would um, walk the labyrinth as sort of a sacred space, as moving into a sacred space, um, a way of prayer. And it's a way of surrendering. Um, when you see the labyrinth, you can't really figure out where you're going on the path. And it's like life, really. You can't figure out where you're going to be next. And um, it winds you into the middle and back out to the edges. And you pass people, or you have to pass around somebody who's moving slowly. And in that regard, it is so like life. And so the prayer is just surrendering um, and giving up control of that path. Um, we have prayers that are available that you can take on the labyrinth with you and um, use if you want a prayer. Some people need the words. Uh, but I think one of the most effective ways to walk it is just to walk with no prior um, sort of agenda for what you're going to do and listen to what the what the path tells you um. 